Hi guys! Hello, good afternoon. Afternoon here and I went to the market today and uh, well, I have uh, received a text from my sister and know that my friend finally they stopped by here. I expect them that they came her the other day but I think they have some activities to do for that day so that's why they just come today. And here she is. Uh, in her house. <laughs> here's the British, isn't it? Uh -oh. So he is a British. And yeah, they stopped by here to uh, borrow the books because my uh, recent ha husband, he really liked to read and he have a book. I think I have two boxes. So I give him the one box of this. I don't need it. <laughs> so he can read uh, for a year at least. Can read all that. that. Is in the room? <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah. And at least they stop by here. Uh, swing around and just visit me in her beautiful wife. You know you can't believe I am looking older than here, but you know her age. <laughs> I'm not gonna say, but she's seventeen. <laughs> oh, right, <crack>, seventeen. <laughs> She have uh, four daughters and uh, some of them is professional already. So you can't believe the beauty, you know. That's a proud to be a Filipina. <laughs> Hello. Say hi. Uh, say hi. You oh. are in YouTube. You're in YouTube. <laughs> say hi. Yeah, I can see you very well. What, what do I do? Say hi. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> so let me ask you, how do you think uh, here in the Philippines, what did your good experience how or what? bad experience? How do I what? Your good experience and bad experience here in the Philippines for almost... Two experiences, a good one and a bad one. <laughs> Is that what you want? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The good, the good first. Well, the bad one is um, meeting that woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, he's telling that he have a bad experience here, but most of them is a good. Especially she got the beautiful wife now, and they been a long time each other, so he have a good experience mostly. In shortly for a bad experience, and okay, um. Do you like what did you choose the Philippines to stay instead the other country? Why? Why did you choose the Philippines instead the other country to stay? Uh, well, this is getting personal now. <laughs> I became a widower. Okay. And I wanted to get away somewhere where I've never been before. And I went to this uh, travel agent. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, no, it's a little hotel in, in Cebu. I said, well, where's Cebu? Philippines. Okay, I'll take it. Mm, okay. All right. It wasn't a nice hotel. It was a rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. The so bed was all right. Breakfast, cup of coffee, and one slice of toast. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, it's a, a small, small breakfast served now. Ang iba no. Okay, so uh, where well, so far you have a good uh, experience here. Well, what is all this? What is it? Why are you interviewing <laughs> me? Because I can put into. Uh, it's more encouraging to other foreigners to choose the Philippines to stay here. <laughs> What's the next question? <laughs> Come and visit Philippines. <laughs> what? Come and visit Philippines and experience the good. So, how do you think the woman here? They're good treating to the husband or what else? What do I think of the women? Yes, some other experience you have uh, with here. She treat you good and uh, she 
She treat you like you're a king. But it's good and bad everywhere you go. I know. It's just a good, my experience is good, good thing only. It's more bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the good things only. Hey? The good things only, so that encourages the foreigner to oh, have a vision. Okay, really good. I the country is nice. Okay. But it's spoiled. Mm hmm. Because of the people are so untidy, scruffy. <laughs> I don't particularly like the food. Okay. So why do I stay here? Because of here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If I treat you like a king. And you're here. <laughs> well, all the Filipina is loving, right? Most of the Filipina is loving. Loving, right? <laughs> well, you. It's been my misfortune to meet the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it's where I go, I, I don't know. But I mean, um, now the problem is, well, the, the unemployment is so bad, mm -hmm. and those that have got a job, mm -hmm. they can't live on the wages. Mm -hmm. So they turn to crime. Yeah. This is my my opinion. The outside they're looking in, and that's the whole problem. Mm -hmm. They're they're chasing the peso. I know our wages here is very small compared to other country. That's why many of them they graduate in courses. They choose to work ab abroad instead yeah. here. Yeah, you can't blame the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the, the cost of living here, if you want a, a, a decent standard of living, mm -hmm. like all foreigners would like, yeah. but they haven't got the money to do that. So a the, the prices, the food prices and nearly everything is on par with UK. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah, but you know, uh, as a foreigner retirement, because Mike he only have uh, uh, eight hundred dollars a month, and we can live uh, eight hundred. Oh, eight hundred. Eight hundred. Yeah, but we live okay. We can survive. Well, how much is that in, in um, pesos? Like forty thousand pesos, if fifty fifty per dollars. Yeah, but now it's lower. Maybe it around uh, thirty seven. Yeah. Thousand pesos. Oh, crumbs. Yeah, and we're renting the house and we have to pay all the bills, but we survive, you know. Well, my income is more than twice that. Yeah, I know. You're How rich. How do you know? Because you tell us before. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Mike, you, uh, you and Mike <laughs> have talking. <laughs> talking in pizza bill before, yeah. So it's a good deal for you to stay here for that amount. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm fortunate because I got I got three pensions. Mm, okay. Uh, if I was relying on my state pension, mm -hmm. in other words, oh, you know, senior citizen, I couldn't I couldn't live. Mm -hmm. I couldn't live here. But in UK, I could because it's a welfare state because i was a senior citizen there i didn't have to pay uh i didn't have to pay rent mm -hmm. i didn't have to pay electric i didn't have to pay water uh even my car the running of it was was, was zero all i had to do was um well, get the insurance mm -hmm. no even that was free all i had to do was get the gas ah wow that's so I didn't have to pay insurance. Because the government have to provide not, that? Oh. Just because I'm a senior, that was part of my the pension I got from the war department. Ah, okay. By the army. Wow. That's good because you're uh, ex army before. Because what? Ex army. Ex army, yes, yes. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. No, but I sustained an injury while I was there. Mm. It's that's, obvious. That's why I get the pain. Yeah, it's obvious because you like 
the books to read and also uh, the way that you were talking this uh, it's very very strong guy <laughs> strong strong you know on your age now no, not anymore no i got well, so many things age. wrong with me now yeah you know mike he's that too that little boy could beat me he's too young he's too young for uh his uh, health condition mike mike yeah yeah so he's too young to uh, pass away but well that's the life <laughs> Ara da ila earn ganing right. adua. Oh. That's life. <laughs> that's life. <laughs> well, we've all got to go sometime. Yeah, but you know, it's uh, luckily that you can live longer, and you can enjoy your life. That's why you have to enjoy your uh, life left. You know, yeah. just yeah. enjoy. I'm not afraid to die, but I don't want to be there when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for the time. So what are you going to do with that well, information? What are you going to do with it? Well, I have to upload this if it's okay to the YouTube. Uh, I, I hold to a mic YouTube, the channel so uh his channel is most is uh encouraging all the tourists to uh, experience here in the philippines so that's all uh that's all about in aside from that is uh, adventure this could be a, a lovely country well it is a lovely country but the people the lack of law enforcement I mean, you, you go here, the streets are full of litter, you know, garbage. They chuck their empty sweet you know, candy wrappers. They, they, the men, when they stop anywhere and have a pee, it's terrible. The last time we went to Ilo Ilo for the immigration, yeah. you notice the difference. Yes. And I, I said to Renz, I said, what do you see here? that um, Negros yes. hasn't got. She didn't know. There it's spotless. The streets are spotless. Not a scrap of garbage. Yeah. People have been trained. Yeah. Why can't they do it here? It depends on the ordinance, the city ordinance. It depends on the what? The ordinance of the city ordinance because here they actually not really active to collecting a garbage. So if they always collecting the garbage, yeah, people don't throw the rubbish away. Yeah, I know. See, a man might light up a cigarette. What's he do with his? What do he do with his dead match? He'll put it in his pocket and take it home if he can't find a rubbish, a garbage bin. I know. In there, you can't you can't do smoke on the street. There, they have to arrest you or you have to pay the yeah. penalty. Yeah. So that's why the people is been trained. I was really impressed. Yeah. Um, that, that stood out a mile. That, that hit me. That, that, that's so clean. And that's how it should be. Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> that's what do I want that for? That's a ram. <laughs> okay, so thank you again. Uh, 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 and uh, 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 thank you for the visit. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>